everyone. It's Mardi here from the uh, Afro Bowlers. We are here with the African giant himself, Francis Ngannou. Francis, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, and you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Even better for having the chance to speak to you today. Ah, I've heard of Afro, uh, Afro Bowler. I know the guy, I think it's Kevin. Kevin, that's the one. Yeah, Shout Kevin, out to Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Okay. So you came, obviously, many years ago, all the way to Paris, to France, um, with the dream of boxing. You then transitioned into mixed martial arts. Yes, what does it mean to you now that you're fighting one of the greatest boxers of this generation, in your own words? Well, uh, it's mean dream accomplished, right? Uh, because that was the goal. Even when I transitioned to MMA, for me, it was just the opportunity at the time because um, it wasn't easy to find my way uh, in boxing uh, right there. And then when I got the opportunity from MMA, to be honest, it wasn't what I was looking for, but I look at it like an opportunity uh, to make a name of myself and expose myself. So I'm um, like, okay, at the end of the day, it's a fighting business. If I want it, and I can also be a world champion, you know, so I did it. And uh, I found uh, along the way, I found the opportunity to finally accomplish that dream because the dream was always with me. I never let it go. Come on, I love that. I love that. And I think it's a good path that you've taken. I'm an avid and massive MMA fan as well. So, and talk about MMA, what experiences, what skills that you've identified that you can bring over to this, to this match against Fury, knowing that he does well against orthodox opponents? What unpredictability, what unorthodox movements can you bring to this fight? Um, I think uh, with the experience, as a, just as a professional fighter, um, a professional athlete, mm -hmm. you bring something into a fight because uh, to be a, a good prof professional athlete, you have to, um, doesn't matter what is the discipline, you have to have uh, some component that will work in all the other discipline, uh, such as like uh, work ethic, mm -hmm. discipline, uh, dedication, you have to have all those stuff. Obviously the skills come, uh, the skills, the skill is very important, but that also one uh, that's just one component out of so many, you know. So as a um, professional MMA fighter, I think I have developed certain skills that I certain tools that I am bringing into boxing already. You know, I'm a professional uh, athlete, so do, so I know how to get uh, ready for a competition. Nice, love that, love that. And um, you said in an interview with Mike Tyson um, that the best advice given to you um, was never give up. And as an African myself, uh, you've inspired me. But what does inspire you at this moment in time to continue? What, why shouldn't I continue? Because mm. I still have my dream, because mm. I don't have to give up, yeah. because I have to explore out what is out there and see what's best. Uh, how far I can go, you know, uh, as I said, the sky is the limit, so, and I haven't get to the sky yet, by the way, I think I'm very far from, so mm -hmm. I just keep going. Soon come, soon come. Um, and last one for me, um, Afro Ballers was really inspired by the three African kings, you know, the three UFC champions, one from, uh, from Africa at the time, yourself, Kamaru and Izzy. Um, what sort of inspiration would you give to other people to um, to continue really to chase their dreams and also what, how does it feel that you're still really raising that flag for the culture at African MMA at the moment? Uh, what sort of... I mean, I just hope that uh, those who uh, look at me uh, I, uh, know where I came from, mm -hmm. at least uh, look at me and tell themselves that they, they, that is possible, right? Mm -hmm. um, because one of the one of the biggest things growing up, uh, the biggest challenge wasn't even the thing that you were facing, was the mindset mm -hmm. that um, the narrative that was out there and people believe that uh, it's not possible, you can make it, you know, until someone Made, made it, you mm -hmm. know. So my my wish is that the 
I inspire people by just making it, and that's why yeah. I'm just keep going, right? Yeah. So, love that, love that, Francis. You definitely didn't fumble the bag. Thanks so much for your time, brother. <laughs>